Welcome to the Emerge Podcast, where Ronnie Doss shares insights regarding life, leadership, and personal development. For more of our resources, visit RonnieDoss.com. Now, let's join the podcast. Hi there, this is Ronnie Doss. My team and I are really excited that you decided to stop by. You know, I've spent the last decade working with individuals from all over the world to help them transform their thinking and enhance their life experience. Not only do I train teams at some of the most successful companies and organizations in the world, I offer coaching programs specifically designed for individuals much like yourself that are committed to increasing productivity and achieving personal goals. I've had powerful mentors along the way that have taught me principles that absolutely shifted how I was living my life, and those principles I want to share with you. My passion is people, and there's nothing more exciting than seeing a life transformed for the better. This is what I've decided to give my life to. So hop over to RonnieDoss.com to check out some of the video programs I personally designed to help you build stronger relationships, improve your communication skills, and develop an intentional mindset. I know these resources will assist you in finding a greater sense of purpose, staying focused on what matters, and breaking through old mental barriers. Get ready. This is your time. So I want to talk today just about a concept I've been sharing with a lot of the teams that I work with. And the idea is the difference between a person that leans in to the team and a person that leans on a team. Now, they're both very important, and there's times for both. But I want to differentiate between the two in that a person that chooses to lean in at times, this is a person that's considering growth. This is a person that wants to get better. This is a person that wants to be stronger as an individual so that they can build the team. You see, when you lean in, you're thinking about building. When you're leaning on, you're thinking about borrowing and that you borrow the energy from the team. You borrow support from the team. And that's vitally important. There are times where you are simply going to lean on your team, lean on your family, lean on the people that you're closest to. However, if we tend to lean on other people and we don't lean in, I believe that we can start to take away from We can actually subtract from the people around us because we aren't adding to the team. We aren't thinking of what it is that we bring to the table. What we're thinking about is actually what we get. And so I just wanted to give you guys a couple of different things today to think about. And even take this, maybe you don't even take this to your team and the people that you work with. Maybe you just take this and and look at it as your family, the people that you're closest to. And ask yourself, am I really leaning in? trying to gain and to grow and to get better so that I can help other people to do the same? Or am I just always the person that's leaning on others, hoping that their attitude, their energy, their focus, and their commitment are going to be what carries me through? Because there's a difference between being independent and being interdependent. A person that's independent is someone who would say, well, I'm going to do everything all by myself, and it's all about me. It's all about me doing it, so I get all the attention. A person that's interdependent knows that for them to be successful, that there has to be some give and take with the team, the people that they work with. And so I give the best version of myself by leaning in. And at times, if I feel weak or that I can't do something, I then lean on others to support and help me to get through. But when it comes to simply leaning in and leaning on, we want to be very careful that we're not the kind of person that is always leaning on the team. And that means that I'm looking at myself, I'm assessing what it is that I'm doing to inspire other people to create solutions versus enabling them to find excuses. And so when I lean in, I'm thinking all of us getting stronger, all of us getting better, all of us, not just the people around me being strong, but myself being strong and seeing what I can infuse, what I can invest into the team. And so there's a difference between a person that's always leaning in and a person that's always leaning on. And again, there's times for both. But I think we need to look at this and say, okay, it probably needs to be more of an 80-20 or a 90-10. 90 being I lean in 90% of the time. I'm bringing the very best of myself. And 10% of the time when I'm a little bit down, then I lean on the team more. And so I want to differentiate between the two today. Hopefully you kind of get the context of this. But... I want to give you this. In the lean in side of things, if you were to see this as broken into two categories, there's the lean in category and then there's going to be the lean on category. And so if we differentiate the two, I think the person that chooses to lean in is always asking for feedback. They want feedback. They want to know what it is they can do better so they can bring something better to the team. A person that leans in asks for feedback. My mentor used to say, feedback is the breakfast of champions. 
And this is what I believe we, we can feed off of, can find as the fuel to help us to be better. That's feedback. Feedback sucks sometimes. It hurts. You ask for feedback, somebody gives you some feedback. It might sting, but I believe it was Edison that said, if it hurts, it instructs. And so when something hurts us, if we can learn from it, it we, we gain from it. And so that's, that's an important thing to get when it pertains to feedback. So if I'm leaning in, I ask for feedback. What can I do better? Now, if I'm leaning on, I'm not asking for feedback. What I'm doing is fishing for compliments. And if you notice you're fishing for compliments, that's something to where maybe you're feeling down, maybe you feel like you're not equipped, you don't have what it takes, and so you wind up fishing for compliments. You see, that's very different than asking for things that you could do better because if you decide that the feedback is more important than simply the compliments, then you take the feedback, you use it, to strengthen yourself and to become more refined in your approach to what it is that you do. And there you see that you're the one that stirs up your own feelings, your own experience. You're the one that finds your own motivation. You dig deep within. And it's, I go back to the Jim Rohn quote. He used to say many years ago before he passed away, he'd say, if you're waiting on someone else to motivate you, what happens if that person doesn't show up? And so if the other person's not there, you, you can't necessarily fish for compliments from them. What you can do, though, is you can ask for feedback, and if they give you some feedback, say, this is about me getting stronger so I can help to strengthen my family, strengthen my team, strengthen my children, strengthen the people that I'm closest to. Big difference here. So a lean-in type person asks for feedback. A lean-on kind of person, well, they're just fishing for compliments. Nothing wrong with asking for compliments. We all need it. But remember, we're looking at an 80-20 or a 90-10% ratio here that I think will, will give us more of a clear direction on who we need to at least aspire to be. I think the lean in type of person has a mind of service. That's the person that says, hey, I wanna serve my team. I wanna serve the people that are my clients. I wanna serve the people in my community. I wanna make an impact for others. A person that leans in has the mind of serving. I think the person that leans on is always thinking of being served. They want to know what it is they're going to get out of it all the time. What am I getting out of this? And is me giving my best? Am I really doing this to serve other people or am I doing it so maybe someone will see what I'm doing? And don't get me wrong, there's, there's a time and place for all of it, but I just think we want to differentiate between the two. One person is think, thinking about serving. The other person is thinking of being served. And then we have this, this last couple of things here. I didn't want this to be too long today, but I did want to create something here for you to look at. I think the person that leans in, the type of person that wants to grow, the person that's trying to get better, their work is fueled by intention. This is a person that's fueled by intention, meaning my commitment is, even on the days I don't feel like it, my commitment is to show up, give my best. I show up, I do the best that I can do. I'm looking for information, looking for feedback to get better. And then I assimilate new practices into what I'm doing. I'm willing to make mistakes, but I'm making mistakes in the hopes that I'm getting better for the team. The work of the person that is leaning in is based on intention. The person that leans on, well, their work is fueled by attention. And so one is about intention and commitment. The other one is about attention, hoping that someone sees me. And so the idea of intention is here. My intention is to serve you. The person on the other side, the lean on kind of person that's always relying on everybody else, does what they do so that they can say, see me. So it's serve you versus see me. And so this is where we look at it and say, okay, what am I doing? Well, I'm doing this so that the team can win versus me just always getting what I want. One of the things that I have shared many times and I emphasize with teams is that when you are on a team, there are many times that you are going to have to take your own desires and put those on the back burner for a bit for the overall organizational goal. And that is that the team wins. And sometimes that means you don't get what you want. And so you can't always just be focused on what you want. You must be focused on the team win. So the win versus the want. And then here's the last thing. A person that always leans in is always looking to strategize. And what I mean by that is the person that leans in is they're looking for information to help them adjust their approach to creating success. They strategize. The person that always leans on tends to emotionalize. And that is they allow their emotions to get in the way. Instead of saying, no, this may be uncomfortable. This is what I'm feeling, but this is what's going to be good for the team. I want to move forward and strategize. I want to take what information we have. I want to make adjustments and I want to move forward. That's the person that strategizes versus the person that emotionalizes. 
You know, I've heard it said that maturity is when your world opens up and you realize that you are not the center of it. I think a lot of times we emotionalize things. We make it all about ourselves. We make it about what am I going to get? How are my feelings going to be hurt? How am I going to be served? I got to look out for this. I think if we really want to win, we've got to be willing to strategize. We don't need to be immature. I think sometimes that problems that we see, they don't necessarily require a solution to solve them. They just need the maturity for us to outgrow them. And a lot of times when we're emotionalizing, we aren't really creating solutions. All we're doing anyway is just staying stuck, hoping that someone sees us and understands our feelings. And yes, that's very important when it comes to a team. Everybody wants to be heard. But if we won't grow up and mature past some of the things that used to bother us, then maybe we're not the right person for the seat. You know, I, I think we've got to be very careful of who we have around us. And if people are always emotionalizing everything, anytime they get feedback, they get their feelings hurt. Anytime they hear something that might be constructive criticism, they get offended. We've got to be very careful that people around us aren't doing that and that we ourselves aren't doing it because we want to be the ones to lead by example. And so we want to strategize versus emotionalize. And at the end of this all, I think what we want to look at is we want to be more of a total leader versus being a title leader. A total leader is somebody that does the leaning in. They're asking for feedback. They're assessing what they're bringing to the table. Their mind is on service. Their, their work is fueled by intention. This is a total leader versus somebody who might be a title leader. And this is the person who just does what they do for a title so that they can tell other people what to do. And I've been around many people that are simply title leaders, that they're just doing what they do for the position. They're not necessarily doing it for the good of the people that work around that position. And so we want to make sure that we're the kind of person that's leaning in, that we're infusing better things into our team, the people that we're closest to, our relationships. This is what we want to do. This is who we want to be. And I think if we do that over time, we create space around us for other people to grow, to step up their game, to get better. We're getting better. We can have open dialogue to help and support one another, to find out what one another needs, and we can move forward congruently together, creating solutions so we can make an impact in the world. This is Ronnie Doss. Thank you guys so much for being on. Hope you got some good stuff out of this. Go back and listen to it again. If you got anything out of it, hey, share it, right? Share it. This is something that hopefully can help everybody out. I know that there's a lot of things going on in the world, but we can help each other. We can stand together here and we can help one another to keep making a difference. I look forward to talking to you guys again very, very soon. Take care.